Now, if you want to enable or show grid in Illustrator, it's super easy. Illustrator already has that built in. So all you have to do is go to view and go to show grid. Okay. But what if you want to create a grid out of an object? And I'm going to show you that in just a moment. Before I show you the next way of creating a grid in Illustrator, let me show you something else that will help you learn Illustrator. So go ahead and go to Google and type ghost together, or you can just use the link in the description of this video. Now here you can register for free and log in. I already have an account, so I'm just going to go ahead and log in. I'm going to turn the dark mode on and here in the instant messages, you can click on this inbox and you can ask GPT your illustrator question. Now I find it a lot faster than Google and YouTube because you can just type your question and receive an answer right away. And it works for any questions, but I'm going to go ahead and type how to create a grid in illustrator. And within two seconds, this free AI tool is going to describe exactly step-by-step -step instructions on how to create a grid in illustrator. Now, this is the tool that I use to create these tutorials, but I just wanted to let you know that you can use it yourself. It's free and it's very useful and the community around this is great. So just go ahead and register and log in. Everything is free and you can learn anything about Illustrator fast without even touching Google or YouTube. Okay, back to our grid here. I'm going to go ahead and disable the grid. So actually, I'm going to drag this down go to view and click hide grid. Okay, so we just disabled the grid. Now, another way of making a grid in Illustrator is by going to the grid object in the toolbar. You're going to find it under the line. So just click and hold on the line. And here it is rectangular grid tool. Now you can click just once before you drag it across the screen. And it's going to allow you to select the options like the width of the grid, height, how many dividers you want vertically and horizontally. So I'm just going to go ahead with the default values and click OK. And there you have it. This is the grid that was added to the canvas. Now you can rescale the grid or you can just drag and move the mouse to create a grid like this. Now let me control Z, control Z to undo this and I'm going to just click once and set the dividers to 100 and vertical dividers to 100 as well and click OK and this will allow you to create a really large grid. Okay guys that's pretty much all there is to adding a grid to your canvas in Illustrator. Now there's another way of making a grid from an existing object. So let's go ahead and delete all this. I'm going to go ahead and create a rectangle, then choose the selection tool. Now make sure to click on the object to select it and go to object path and select split into grid. Okay. Now here, select the number of rows and the number of columns. And there you have it. We've just split an object into a grid in Illustrator. 